Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. The object of the video today is to get the enemy patrolling as you see below. All we're doing is getting it to move uh, back and forth between walls so when it hits a wall it reverses direction. So let's get started. Game, Game dev, dev journey. journey. Right, it's time to add an enemy to the level. So we're going to create a new scene. We're going to use a character body 2D as the root. We'll rename it to mushroom. We will add an animated sprite 2D as a child. And we'll create the sprite frames. We'll rename the default to idle. And let's go ahead and create a new folder here called mushroom. And we'll use that folder to hold all the animations for the mushroom. Now that I have that folder, I'm going to drag all the sprite sheets for the mushroom into it and I have sprite sheets for hit, idle and run. So idle is here, let's work with that at the moment. We'll go to the mushroom, we'll take idle, open it. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 horizontal frames and one vertical frame. We'll select them all, add them. I'm going to set it at 20 FPS. We'll add a new animation here called run. And we'll grab the run frames. It looks like around 17. No, maybe 16. Yeah, 16. Select them, add, there they are. Again, I'm gonna set it to 20 and leave it on looped. Add another animation for hit. Grab the hit frames, five of them. Select them, bring them in. Stick to our base of 20 and looped. And I'm going to add in one more animation here called death. And for death, I'm just going to take one of the idle frames. This one with the eyes closed. Well, either any of these, I suppose. That one looks pretty good. So I'm going to copy it. Go to death and paste it in. That'll be my death frame. And I'm going to stick on idle. Now we need a collision box for this. So we're going to add a collision shape 2D. And I'm going to choose a capsule shape. And I'm going to bring it I'm going to make it cover just the base of the mushroom like that. And the reason why is we're just going to detect collisions with walls using this. But for collisions with the player, later on, we're actually going to add another collision zone at the top here so that the player can jump onto the head of the mushroom and stomp it. That'll how that's how the player will kill the mushroom. And then the way the player will get injured or hurt from the mushroom is if the player enters the mushroom from the sides. So we're going to add different collision boxes on the sides and at the top. So this will just be for coll detecting collisions with stationary objects like walls. So our basic scene then for the mushroom is just these three nodes. So to make it move we're going to have to add a script. So I'm going to click on the mushroom, add a script, mushroom GD. 
I'm going to make it empty. So I'm not going to use this basic movement. I'm going to leave it empty. And I'm going to say create. And all we get is the character body 2D. Now, we should set up some variables for the speed of the mushroom, the direction it's heading in, and its health. So let's have a constant called speed. Maybe make it 75. And then we can have some variables such as direction. One will be for right, minus one for left, and health. And we'll just set it to one for now. Now let's add a function to add gravity to the level. So let's say function add gravity. And we'll say if not is on floor. So if, you, if you're not on the floor, then gravity should pull you down towards the floor. So our velocity in the y direction will be plus equal to, we'll get the gravity value, get the gravity variable, and multiply that by delta, which is the change over time. Multiply that by delta. Now this, that means that gravity will need the delta variable to work. So this is a built-in function. It's built in to the character body class. And if you press control and click on it, you can read about it. It returns the gravity vector computed from all sources, um, including the global world gravity. So we can actually go and see what that value is. If we go to project, project settings, we go to physics, 2D, and there you can see the default gravity is 918. We could go and change that. But that's the value it's fetching, 980. And then it's multiplying that by the change over time and the difference in the frames just to keep the animation smooth as the player or the enemy falls to the ground. So that's our gravity. Let's add a function to move the enemy. So let's call it move enemy. And really, to move the enemy, all we need to do is change its x velocity. So we can say velocity.x is going to be equal to the speed multiplied by the direction. And that will move the player in the direction, well, that will move the enemy in the direction that it is facing. But now, if it bumps into a wall, it's not going to turn around. So we need to make sure that if it bumps into a wall, it reverses its direction. So let's call this function reverse direction. Or we could call it change direction. But it, it is actually reversing the direction, so we may as well stick with that. So the way this will work is we'll check to see if it's on a wall, if it's bumping into a wall. And if it is, then we'll just invert the direction variable. So we'll say the direction variable is then equal to negative direction. And that will reverse the direction of the mushroom. So we have these three functions that is going to control the patrolling movement of the mushroom. And we'll need to call them in the physics process. So we'll say, we'll create that function underscore physics process. There it is. We'll go ahead and call all of our functions. We'll add the gravity. We will move the enemy. And we'll call move and slide to check for collisions. And then we'll call reverse direction. Now. The reason why I'm calling reverse direction after calling move and slide is because if you try to reverse the direction before calling move and slide, the game engine has not yet checked for collisions in the current frame. So it actually doesn't know whether the enemy has hit a wall. And so this reverse direction will actually never run. 
Um, so make sure you call reverse direction after calling move and slide because move and slide checks for collisions automatically. So now we can save our scene as mushroom in our scenes folder, save it. And if we go to our level, we can add a mushroom to the level. So let's find our scenes. Our scenes are, we should have a mushroom. There's mushroom. So let's put a mushroom down at the bottom here and test the scene. Uh, we've got a problem. So let's just check on this. It's in our gravity function. And we're saying that the velocity, it shouldn't be velocity y, it's just the general velocity, I believe. There's our mushroom. Run it. And he fell out of the scene. There's one more thing we need to do to the mushroom to make sure that it doesn't just fall out of the scene. So besides making sure that it is just velocity, not velocity.y in adding gravity, we also need to go to the mushroom itself and go to the collision layers and make sure that the mushroom is colliding with the ground and the pass-through. Because at the moment, the mushroom is on the player layer. And we actually want to put the mushroom, we could put it on its own layer, which might be a, a good idea. So let's add the mushroom to its own layer. Let's call this enemies. So the mushroom is now on layer four, which as you can see is the enemies layer. We can turn off layer one. And the mushroom should be looking to collide with the player, the ground, and the pass through. There's no reason to collide with other enemies. So I'm gonna leave that off. So let's save that, go back to our level and see what happens when we play it now. And there we go. Now the mushroom stays on the ground, it's colliding with the ground and it's reversing direction when it hits a wall. Fantastic. Well, now that that's been done, we want to make it so that if you place a mushroom on a platform, they stay on the platform and patrol. Because if we put this mushroom on a platform now, when it reaches the edge, it's just gonna fall off. But I want to make it so that the mushroom gets to the edge, knows it's on the edge, and returns and moves the other direction so it patrols the platform. And it doesn't do that now, but that is what we're gonna set up in our next video. See you then.